SPO.org. And so um, that's also like the student that's worked that um, information in really smooth. Um, the names of your resource um, can also come out through the quote, and that can work really well. Um, again, just make sure you use a verb like state to write your sets. Um, so this is a good example where this is done correctly. So um, a possible solution to world overpopulation is educating women who are all around the world. So we can have even more powerful women who can later go into government positions and fight for the social issues like birth control, or even just educating women on having safe sex. But by providing girls with an education, ensuring women have a voice in family decisions, and providing women with opportunities for economic freedom, we will build stronger future generations. Thanks to the MC Population Media Center. So this was also like a really great um, you know, use of the quote, and they did a good job of like you know letting the reader know where they got the quote. The one like sort of tiny tweak I would make, I would maybe like switch the order, like put Population Media Center first and then PMC, um, just because I think it's clearer to the reader that way. But um, it was a great use of the quote as well. Um, so this is just like a couple of quick sort of MLA style things. Um, I know you know people still are making some little MLA errors, and that is part of the criteria for the grading. So. Um, Make sure you add your last name and the page numbers in the upper right. Um, make sure your paragraphs are indented unless it's the first paragraph after a subheading. Um, Gucci pib. Use 12 point times new Roman font, double space your essay, and then make sure you have a title. Um, if people just, if they don't have a title yet, just add one to your final draft. And the title should be centered and in that 12 point times new Roman font, just like the rest of your essay. Um, don't make the title huge, don't underline it, you know, like, you don't need to do anything crazy. Um, and then, like I said, some people just put links for their sources at the end. Um, they just kind of gave me a bunch of links. For the final graph, make sure you have that blue cited page um, with full citations. And the sources on that list should be alphabetized. And then finally, just like, you know, spell check your essay, grammar check. Um, Look for run on sentences and fragments. I mean, I talked about how like it's great to use a variety of short and long sentences in a paper, but just you know, make sure those sentences are grammatical. Um, and then just have someone else read it over always. It's always a good idea to get a fresh set of eyes. Dang, it's already been a week since things. like the PS5 yeah, came out. MLA style stuff uh, for the research paper. Um, that, that's like the great English department that's going to teach you guys that. So, because um, they use it in the humanities courses that you need to have in college and a lot of other um, places, but you know, other schools that you can research for. I mean, you, you can, but like, it's difficult to like... Also, 
hopefully it'll be helpful to me as I'm going to teach this crop again. Um, so, you know, what were your expectations? Were they met? Um, what did you learn? Um, which things in class were for you and which didn't? So, did any sort of advice or lessons for future English quality lessons? They were just right, it's like four you know, paragraphs on each of these And that's deep in December of also, coming up soon, um, there is a summary of the video text. This is going to be like analyzing either music video or um, said, like a set of commercials, television commercials. So, um, that is due November 30th, so it's the Monday after Thanksgiving break. And then there's just a short summary of, um, so summary of Joel's it's called, and it's um, just a short summary of this reading, which is um, called I'm Reading a Video Text. It's this guy named Joel's. <laughs> um, so that's it for the beginning. If you have questions about those as we move forward, there's also going to be a Bruh, I got guys got pushed straight off. Kind of long pause. Bro, you see the whole gang up there, bro? Jeez. Okay. I, I, I think what's going on is that it's so slow that, that I'm actually struggling with it. Like, I'm so used to being, like, way faster. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> Say about a single photograph. Um, 
when I was getting my journalism degree, I took this class called Photography and Society, and it was like fascinating because we basically just um, looked at a lot of famous um, photographs and kind of analyzed them and learned about them. And it was kind of that was a really interesting class. If you ever take anything like that, I just recommend it's really um, like interesting when you learn a ton of stuff. Um, so this um, writer, Cory um, like Morgan, um, she says, she suggests that you start the process just by observing a photograph and looking at it really closely, closely and carefully, and maybe even like, you know, jot down some notes about things you notice. So maybe there's prominent objects in the foreground, or like there's details about the setting, or um, certain colors are used, um, like what emotions the are bringing up. Um, Oh, we started. I kind of fell down. Okay. I'm a good blue for a second. Are there no, like, there's no, uh, there's no yellows. Oh, oh, okay, no, there is yellow, there is yellow. Essay about a picture, you know, you know, like any other essay, you have a vision where you're kind of like reviewing your main points, but maybe you can add a little bit more. You're not about to do this again. No, 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 no. that, put that. <laughs> 
Bro, clip it.